Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a set of luxury press-on nails. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and ring that bell so that you can get the new videos that I upload. start off doing press on nails um, we start off with 10 full press on nails they're the full coverage nails not the tips you don't want to use the tips the tips won't help because we're actually measuring the full nail so as you can see I've already used uh, I've already found picked out my nail sizes and placed them on to the sticky it looks almost like, these are so cute. They almost look like chess players to me, but it comes with, uh-oh, one fell off. It comes with um, two of these stands. They are magnetic. They have like magnetic on each, on each section. And then the bottom, if you can see, it sticks actually to it. So it won't come off. And then you also have the adhesive. They're almost like putty. And you will put the putty on top of the little, I'm gonna call them chess, <laughs> chess pieces, on top of those so that it can secure your nail at, while you're working. And I have done all 10, you get two sets. I ordered that, I believe, from Amazon and it wasn't too much. So today I'm gonna be doing a short set we're gonna start by buffing the nail, cutting the nail. With this set, even though you're not doing actual um, a person, you still wanna buff the shine off the nails. If you're cutting them, cut them to the desired length and shape them before you start actually working on them, just like you would prep for a, a real client. So we're gonna start by doing that. I want this to be an active length nail. So I'm gonna typically take maybe, I usually do one cut if I'm gonna do, two cuts if I'm gonna do active length. So basically to make them actually a short length. And make sure it's secure on. So this is the length that I'm going to be working with today. And I'm going to show you all you're going to do is remove the shine off the nail when you use your gel polish your gel polish sticks with the shine remove you have to do that if you don't remove that you'll, you'll get peeling it might not cure properly it's just a mess so make sure that when you're um, doing this process you remove all the shine off the nail so that the polish can adhere to the nail. As you can see. Okay, so now we have filed the nail, buffed the nail, even out, and took the shine, removed the shine off the nail on both. So now we're gonna go in with the black, it's called Black Ocean d, &D. Black Ocean d, &D. And I actually did this before I tried using like the, um, the base coat on the nail. It turned out horrible with this process, what I'm doing. So. I'm going to just use the D&D because I'm doing a glitter type effect and it's going to be like a New Year's glitter nail so it's all black. So what I'm going to do is polish nails, cure them for 60 seconds and I may do two coats if I have to. So we're going to start the polishing process. So when you get ready to do your 
glitter, you want to make sure that the nail is completely polished and not underneath. You do not want glitter sticking underneath the nail. We're going to do all 10 nails like this. Also, when you're doing gel polish, you want to get full coverage, but only do like thin layers so that when you're curing it in between coats, it can be cured and it doesn't take a long time to cure. Sometimes if you make it too thick, it won't cure all the way. You will have to constantly keep putting it in the UV LED lamp to cure and it can mess up the effects of the polish as well so be careful in doing so and also remember you're going to do two coats of this polish and you're going to do it on all ten nails So now I'm going to place this inside the UV lamp for 60 seconds. So now that we have all, ten, all nails painted, we're going to go over them with the Kiara Sky Gel No White Top Coat. Because what we're doing today, we're going to add glitter to all 10 nails, the short nails, and we want to make sure that we have nice coverage of it, so make sure you cover all the nails, end to sidewall to sidewall, all the way to the free edge, to the cuticle, because you want to make sure you're covering them, all the areas that's going to be submersed into the before I added two coats of the Black Ocean by DC D D D D DC collection. I love their polish. It goes on nice and smooth. Um, it's kind of thick, so you have to be careful when you're putting it on, but it, the coverage is really nice. So that's why I like it. I think I'm going to invest in another brand maybe. This is like my first brand that I had, I, I was using. I used Elite 99 and that was fine, but I really like this D and D DC collection, I do. So you have all the nails polished. Now we're just gonna go one by one and we are going to add glitter. You can use a spoon, you can use your cuticle pusher, you can dip it either way. But what I do, I usually use the cuticle pusher first and get nice coverage on it. And if it doesn't seem like it's all the way covered, I go in and I dip it into the glitter. Whatever works for you, whatever's easier for you to do. I like to do it like this. It's most sanitary like this. You don't have to dip it in if you're actually working with a actual live client. And then what I do is I tap the glitter in and you should be able to see if you, you want to make sure you tap the front the sides the back make sure your glitter is in place not sticking up because we're eventually we're going to go over this again this nail so you want to have it so that it's like this Ten nails into the glitter, cured them, 
and now I'm just going to prepare to clean them, take them off, and add them into the box. So with the boxes, I use boxes like these. I got a set of 16, I believe. Open them up. They have the cushion in here. And what you want to do is, you have your box, then you want to buy you some double-sided tape. You can get it from, I guess, the hardware. You can get it from maybe the dollar store. I got this one from Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the sticky tape onto the cushion. Make sure nothing is on the box because this glitter is everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure measure it from here to here. Take my scissors and I am going to cut that, that piece off. Now what you want to do is just peel off. side has a covering on it the other does not I usually have my tweezers but I don't have them right now so I'm gonna use my hand and do it and just peel that sticky that um, plastic off like that it's very very sticky so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you lay it down where you want it to be position properly where you want it to be. That way it's set for when you do your nails. When you um, add your nails to the display. So it'll look just like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit this to the side. I'm going to take my duster and dust off the excess glitter off the nails. Might have some. Also with that being said, you want to go over the sides see if you have any extra glitter hanging off the sides. What I do when cleaning, I take a cuticle pusher or um, tweezers and sometimes the uh, putty will, get, will be underneath the nail. You want to make sure you get all the putty off the back of the nail because you got to remember these are press-ons and the client will be back of the nail to press the nail on. So you're just taking that off. Some uh, different types of uh, putty won't stick, but I guess it's the way I put it on. It was like a little bit more. Just take the putty and you put it on there. version that I created today but um, as you can see I did create a long version already so I do have press-ons that are available in different styles this one is the New Year's uh, black lace style right here and I also have this is my set. this comes in a short set as well so I have a variety of sets that I have created. Um, this is one that I'm working on now. This is the short set, so I'm gonna be working on that, adding stones to that. These will be available as well. Um, I'm gonna say the first of the year, I will be adding more items and products to my, my collection. 
and you will be informed. So with that being said, I am so done with this video. Um, you all have a great, happy new year. I'm quite sure you'll see me before the new year. Um, today is what, Tuesday? We got Wednesday and Thursday, and then the new year's Friday. So um, right now, I'm, hopefully I'm just thankful for being able to show you guys what I've learned, what I'm learning. Like I said, it's, it's okay, it's, it's fun to do. And I like passing it on to the next person so they can learn at another level. But with that being said, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and press that button to get the notifications as well as subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, guys.